Next caller on the line, won't you go ahead, please? Hello. Oh, hi. Gosh, this is great. I can't believe it. Um, I just wanted to ask Marilyn if uh, she was an inspiration to any of the early songs. Well, I... I think I was. <laughs> yeah, the, the songs that I think he wrote about me were uh, um, God Only Knows. Um, sometimes it's, it's a little depressing because you get to hear them talk about what they really don't like in you anymore, you know? <laughs> like Caroline No, it went, where, did you, where did your long hair go? I was really depressed when I heard that song, but it was wonderful. Um, let's see. She's not the little girl I once knew. You know, I grew up. Mm -hmm. Don't Hurt My Little Sister was about me and my, my sisters. Brian didn't have any sisters. Uh, oh, God. He wrote a song called Marilyn Ravel. Were you flattered when you became part of his music? Oh, of course. Are you kidding? Oh, you know that we were the cheerleaders. The honeys were the cheerleaders on Be True to Your School. No kidding. Yes. Uh, the honeys. Now, what, the are honeys. You, what are the honeys doing now? The honeys, uh, we have a... Why do they call them the honeys? The honeys, okay. In the Beach Boys song, Surf and Safari, it said, uh, early in the morning we'll be riding along or something. So the honeys will be coming along. The honeys are girl surfers. And our first record was surfing down the Swanee River. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you the are. are. But anyway, we have an album coming out in Sweden in around a month, another album. We've had an album out a couple years ago called Ecstasy. Uh, now we're in the studio right now making two new records, and we're, you know, we're real excited. So you're busy. Please. Yeah, I'd like to say that uh, Miss Wilson is a be very beautiful woman. Oh, thank you. And uh, I think that Brian is a fool to let go of somebody like her. I love you. <laughs> I, d I did not hear what the gentleman said. He said, well, he said, he said that Brian was a fool to let go of me. Thank you. Were there any questions for Marilyn or just a nice compliment, sir? Well, I'd like to ask her if uh, she's thinking of getting married again with any other man than Brian. And, am I going to get married again? I'd like to one day. When the right man comes along. Do you have any other man in mind was the second part of the question. Oh, no, not in at the moment. In other words, Marilyn, are you seeing anybody serious at this time is what this man wants to know. No, oh. not right now. Okay. Next caller's on the line. Won't you go ahead, please? Hello. Yes. My name is Sean, and uh, what I want to know was um, while you were with your husband, did you ever sing with the group? With the Beach Boys? Is that what you mean? The yes, I just want to know, did you ever sing with the group itself? Yes, all the time. Uh, I think that I was on practically every album once we were married, mm -hmm. and uh, so were the other honeys on a lot of the albums. Uh, I sang, well, you know, we had a studio in our home, and that when Brian would need another part, he would have me come in and sing the part with the guys, and uh, also he would have me come to the piano when he was creating the songs, and I would, he would have me sing the parts along with him, so mm -hmm. he would hear how they sounded. Did you, um, uh, uh of course you knew about this. Uh, I, I lost my train of thought as I hit the phone here. Your reaction when James Watt, the then Secretary of the Interior, and this whole ruckus about the Beach Boys singing in Washington for the 4th of July, that they couldn't sing there. What, what did you think of that? Oh, I thought it was ridiculous, and I said, wow, what publicity the guys are going to get out of this. It's going to help their career back up again, which it did. And one other loose end here in my mind. You said in the previous segment, when, uh, when talking to one of our callers, that... Brian could not see the children now because of his doctor. What yes. does that mean? Well, Brian is under uh, right now 24-hour therapy with this particular doctor. And the doctor kind of has the children down, maybe like around number 20, on the list of the things that Brian is supposed to get better at and do first, mm -hmm. which is, you know, horrible. So it's horrible. The children and the family should be first, and then comes the career, and then comes this, and then comes that. But uh, this doctor... Is you know brainwashing him at the moment, and none of us are really happy about it at all. But he is helping Brian also. Mm -hmm. He looks terrific. He's lost a lot of weight. He's off of drugs, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we just want him back as a you know family member and a father to the two yes. uh, to, the, to the children. Well, yes. maybe if the progress is good, the doctor will bring the priority from 20 up to number four or five. Well, I, so. I hope I hope it's before uh, they're too old to see their daddy. Okay. Marilyn, thank you for coming on a program thank like you. this. I know it's difficult to talk about some of these things. And you're no, a real, I enjoyed it. All right. Yeah. You're a real trooper and I really appreciate thank it. You. Okay. We will continue and tell you about tomorrow.